The Flash is back for Season 4, and to no one's surprise, Barry Allen has returned from the Speed Force. So what we've seen on the show is that six months has passed, Kid Flash and Cisco have been filling in for Barry Allen, and Iris is running the team. Meanwhile, Caitlin, aka Killer Frost, has been missing for six months and is found working in a bar. What is a nice girl with two doctorates and a PhD doing in a rat's nest like this one? Working. But she helps to retrieve Barry from the Speed Force and then returns to the Flash's team as a permanent member. And when she goes back to the bar to quit, a gangster tells her that no one leaves Amunet. You want to quit, Snow? It doesn't work that way. You do what Amunet says for as long as she tells you. She then turns into Killer Frost and defeats him and says she's leaving. So the question we're left with, who is this Amunet? Well, in the comics, her name is Amunet Black with the alias Blacksmith. She was a woman who started a criminal network, which was imaginatively called The Network, and run Central City as a crime lord. Think of her as a mafia leader for buying, selling, smuggling illegal goods, and pretty much everything else you'd associate with the Godfather. She was also married to Goldface, a supervillain, and when they divorced, she took the formula that gave him his superpowers, and it gave her the power to fuse metal with flesh, which is why her supervillain name is Blacksmith. This power is a bit difficult to describe, but basically it means she can mentally call metal to her and fuse it with her body to make herself stronger and armoured, and she can also forge the metal for different purposes. I'm not sure how they'll take this on the show, perhaps just in a Magneto style of being able to control metal, or maybe just turn her body into steel. Though in different versions of the character, she has also been able to control technology that is made from metal. Most likely it won't be a formula that gives her her powers though, but instead it will probably be the explosion at Star Labs that gave everyone on the show their powers. Since Caitlin was working for her, most likely as Killer Frost for some illegal purpose, it seems that the show is keeping this the same as the comics, as in she is still a criminal mastermind. Now in the comic, Amunet normally just wiped the minds of anyone who left her organisation, so that they couldn't remember working for her at all, and so wouldn't be a threat to her in the future. But in the show, I'm guessing she's just going to straight up have them killed, and she's most likely going to come after Caitlyn. Amunet is of course a villain of the Flash in the comics, and has been known to work with Weather Wizard, Mirror Master, Magenta, Murmur, Gerda, Plunder, and Trickster. Most of these have already featured on the show, so some of the characters will undoubtedly return. Mainly the Weather Wizard and the Trickster, the others I'm not so sure about, but them two are quite big. And the Mirror Master is of course still around, so he might return as well. She also has ties to working with Captain Cold, so it seems likely that Wentworth Miller will return to the show in some capacity. He still has an ongoing contract with CW to appear in all the Arrowverse shows, meaning Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow, The Flash, and possibly one day Supergirl. So he'll no doubt be here for Season 4 of The Flash, and both Legends of Tomorrow and Arrow at some point. Now in the comics, Amunet almost defeated The Flash, by first taking down his allies to make him weak. And since the show has already labelled Caitlyn as a target because she left Amunet's business, it seems likely that Amunet taking down the Flash's allies first may be a key plot point of Season 4. The Finker was also revealed at the end of the episode as the mastermind of the Samoroid incident, and his assistant is called the Mechanic, and it seems they engineered the Flash's return so that the Finker can use him for his own purposes. He is a villain, so he won't have brought the Flash back for any noble purpose, it will be purely for his own plans and his own gain. The Finker has been known as the main Flash villain for Season 4 for a while now, and he's basically a super genius who creates futuristic light tech, including the tech in his head we see in the episode, that enhances his brain and makes him even smarter. And that's pretty much all you really need to know about him. He's a super genius, makes robots and other really advanced tech, and he's the bad guy. The Finker also famously stopped Amunet from killing the Flash in one comic issue, so it seems likely that he'll either help save the Flash from Amunet, or help him to take her down under a flag of truce, and then betray the Flash but we'll have to wait and see what happens on the show. Although Amunet was mentioned in the first episode, she is not actually set to appear on the show until the fifth episode. Though I do of course have to say the showrunners may change this, but at the moment she is slotted to appear in the fifth episode. And she's also being played by Katie Sackhoff, who was of course in Battlestar Galactica as well. And that is who the villains in the first episode are. Given the stories in the comics around these characters, and what I've seen online and read about season 4 of The Flash, I kind of get the feeling that Amunet will arrange a prison break of all the metas locked up in Star Labs. So for me, that's where I think the show is going. But what do you think will happen in this season? And what do you think Amunet's and Finker's plans for The Flash will be? Be sure to let us know in the comments. And I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those of you who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that is helping us to bring you more videos each week and to raise funds for adapting comic book stories into short animated films. If you're interested in donating or just want to find out more, a link is in this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.